Chris O. I was busy listening to the music and uh, I thought, oh Jesus, I'm not, I'm not, uh, not filming. <laughs> So we'll just do it in that corner. <clears throat> just do it in the corner now. So we, I've got it like that. That's how it works like that. See that people? But always make sure You've got, see where my thumb is? Always make sure you've got waterproof there. So it sticks. This is, uh, this bandage is a little bit different to um, what I have been using, but it's, it's the same. I just grabbed a roll. I didn't even notice it was uh, this stuff, but it doesn't matter, it's all good. Pop the waterproof down there, like that. I hope everyone's enjoying their day, or whatever they're doing, sitting on the couch. Or whatever you're doing, sitting on the couch, watching Chriso. Well, good. I hope you're learning something. I think this is um, quite a superior bandage. It's um, it's sort of rubber, so there's heaps of stretch. Heaps, dude. Heaps of stretch when things move. Today's uh, Friday, on Monday, I'll be laying the floor tiles. See how I always put down a bit of waterproof that sticks one layer to the other. That's a biggie. Oh, nice. Make sure you have no holes, always Keep an eye on what you're doing. DIYs and like waterproofing is easy. Just pay attention, leave the missus alone, tell the kids to go outside. 
just sort of concentrate on what you're doing here. I feel sorry for the owner a little bit because he's having to pay for waterproofing twice. But, uh, you know, he took my advice good on him. This isn't the first one that I've waterproofed over other people's work. You know, the key to a good tradie is do what you would do, you know, do for people what you would do on your own place. That she'll be right, mate. <coughs> and all around the world, people think that the Aussie is a little bit slack in that department when they say, oh, she'll be right, mate. Uh, uh, nah. No, not good. You know, like, he had no silicon around here whatsoever, and uh, the waterproof didn't cut it. So, well, you get water in there, it was an instant leak. Just trouble waiting to happen. But unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. Good for me because, uh, you know, the hard work's sort of been done. I'm get going over it, repairing it, and charging them for it. But what can you do, you know? Life can be a bit tough sometimes. But this owner, he's a, a Matthew, he's a young fella. I don't know what would his age be. 35. And he'd rather the job be done properly. And when I pointed out a few things that weren't done and were missed, and that sort of thing, he freaked out. Oh, ah. He spat the dummy. <laughs> no, he, no, he was all right. He was just pissed off. He took a few photos. But hey, yeah, try and, uh, try and, tradies out there, Try and do it like it's your own. I've had apprentices and some have worked out, some haven't, some care, or and workers, some care, some don't. You get that. But I tell you, being by myself and people say, oh God, far out, you do it all yourself. Yeah, bloody oath, and I'm happy too. I'm not employing someone to look over my shoulder stand there and be watching me supposedly learning but no nah. uh, nah. but yeah things were a bit crap all out I do a, uh, a Zoom 
I'm gonna take Tuesday off. Uh, I do a Z Zoom funeral uh, Tuesday night. My sister, my older sister by two years uh, passed away and the funeral is um, 10 o'clock in the morning in London, eight o'clock uh, on the Gold Coast, my time. So I've got the rest of my family and that sort of thing coming around. I'm gonna do a, a Zoom. But yeah, bit sad, but she passed away. She was uh, only weighed 38 kilos. So she's out of her out of her misery now. And hopefully a lot bloody warmer. Because she was a real tight ass palm. Had a shitload of money and too tight to turn on the heater. I offered to send over, over money to help warm her up, you know, turn on the heating. And my brother-in-law said to me, no, nah, Chris, I don't because she's got more money than you think. But she's just too tight to spend it. So I sit there and freeze in the English winter. Ah, uh, no. Nah. That's crazy. Anyway, that's how people, uh, some, some people are. Anyway, enough about me. You people, this is how you do it. Every day, I'm going to bring out a short and it's going to be an affirmation. <clears throat> so people are going to think, oh, okay. That's different. But yes, you're, um, Chris O, your Tyler is sort of uh, a bit of a new, new agey person. But, um, you know, nice affirmations of um, uh, happiness and well being. Everyone needs it a bit. <coughs> so I decided to, uh, to do it. And if it can put a smile on someone's face and they can think of um, nice things and all that jazz, you know. Ooh, stand back and have a look at that. No, that's cool. I'll carry on around there do around those taps. I need to waterproof this because uh, it's terrible. It's a shelf and nothing's been done. So if I run some silicon along there, get in there with the waterproof. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a start. All right, people, take off my glove so I can turn off my camera. Stay cool. I'll see you soon. Thumbs up. See ya.